This is Duke University. The university was buying land for the new campus west of the town of Durham um, through the mid-1920s through 1930. In the late 1920s, they had acquired about 4,000 acres that, that, that was not going to be used immediately for campus construction and thought that somehow maybe this land should be managed. They ought to understand a little more about it. What are some of the opportunities to use that land base? Dr. Clarence Corstian was hired to become the first director of what became the Duke Forest in 1931 and with about 4,000 acres of land. And he began to manage the, the property as a demonstration area for various types of forest management practices and as a laboratory both for students to learn and study in, in the natural system and also for researchers to, you know, to conduct research projects. So that was, that was the, the beginning of the forest. Durham County, Orange County, uh, the city of Durham, and town of Chapel Hill have agreed to try to manage this corridor in a way that preserves um, its aesthetics, um, water quality, uh, recreation, and, and education in this corridor. So what, if we have an opportunity to help further that cause, we, we like to take advantage of those opportunities if we can. Produced by the Office of Communication Services, online at hr.duke.edu.